Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon where you are. Good morning or good afternoon where you are. Glory be to God. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm so delighted to be here today. I'm delighted to be alive this afternoon or this morning. Glory be to God. Or even this evening, wherever you are in the world. Glory be to God. I am in the mood of worship and I want to play some songs before I start Zechariah 7. So let me play some songs so we can, you know, bask in the presence of the Lord. Glory be to God. He knows my name. Good morning, Elder Jason Ox. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Glory be to God. Bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you, sir. Bless you. It's an honor and a privilege to be sharing the word of God with you, to share the moment with you this afternoon. It says, it says, um, an iron sharpen another iron. Glory be to God. We need persons who are like minded, sir. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Breath of life. Ah. Breath of life, Jesus. Thank you, God. Blow on my listeners today, God. Breath of life, breath of life, breath of life, breath of life, hallelujah. Breath of life wherever you are, hallelujah. Breath of life, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God knows something about you this afternoon bless the lord sir bless the lord apostle coney bless the lord sir hallelujah 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 the lord knows something about us this afternoon hallelujah everything that we're going through god knows it this afternoon everything glory be to god that is upon us this afternoon god knows it Hallelujah this afternoon. Glory be to God. It's not about your name alone, but God knows everything about you this afternoon. He knows your uprising and your down settings this afternoon. He knows your ins, shaka and your outs this afternoon. Glory be to God. He knows. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, mighty God, that which the doctor just said. He knows. The bill that came in the mail. Glory be to God. He knows the report from your friends this afternoon. Glory be to God. Ah. Glory be to God. But God is restoring a one this afternoon. God is restoring a one this afternoon. Glory be to God. Today is Friday. And you're privileged to be looking at me today. Hallelujah. You could have been cut off. Glory be to God this morning. You could have been cut off yesterday afternoon. Glory be to God. But mercy found you this afternoon. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. God knows your name this afternoon. I'm telling somebody this afternoon, the Lord knows you. The Lord knows your address. huh? The Lord knows, glory be to God, what you're faced with this afternoon. The Lord knows what is perplexing your heart this afternoon. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you know our name this afternoon. The Lord knows our names this afternoon. God knows your name this afternoon. Glory be to God. God knows all about you this afternoon. God knows all about you. This afternoon, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes we need to whisper. Thank you. Ah, this afternoon to God. Sometimes we need to say, Daddy, thank you, Daddy, thank you. The scripture says with sonship, we are able to say, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. So with sonship, this afternoon, ah, we are able to say, Abba, Father. Hey, Karaba, Ushata. Rondalaba, Ushata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Glory. Glory. God, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm seeking healing for the body of Christ this afternoon. Breakthrough for the body of Christ. Hey, Corobo, shut up. This afternoon. Hey, Corobo, shut up. Run the labo, shut up. Glory. Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. No mountain. Oh, God can stop me this afternoon, God. For you know my name, God. You know my name. You know my address this afternoon, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This afternoon, Lord God, we're seeking a shift in the realms of supernatural this afternoon, God. We're seeking a clearing of the atmosphere this afternoon, Jesus. We're seeking a moving of some things in the realms of supernatural this afternoon. And we're saying thank you this afternoon, Jesus. Thank you. This afternoon, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. This afternoon, Jesus. Glory be to God. I was taught that when you show things up on them, glory be to God. Sometimes you can't be sophisticated in worshiping God. You have to give a shout. It was with a shout that the wall of Jericho came tearing down. You have to shout something to God this afternoon. Wherever you are, you need to give a shout this afternoon, glory be to God. Glory. Hallelujah. This afternoon, cheek under the door, shut up. Glory be to God. This afternoon, we have to shout for some things to move out of the realms of supernatural. We have to shout for some things to shift in the realms of supernatural this afternoon. Glory be to God. Glory be to God this afternoon. Glory be to God this afternoon. I was sitting, glory be to God, in my bathroom. And the Lord was saying to me, you're a royal priesthood. Glory be to God. And I'm saying, Daddy, I know. Uh, but sometimes we know something, but we're missing what it is saying. Uh, glory be to God. The Lord says, you're a royal priesthood. Glory be to God. This says, princesses. And princes never get to live how they want to live. You are called to obedience this afternoon. Princes and princesses have their child ripped from them this afternoon. Whatever you went through is enough to make you royal this afternoon. The Lord is saying, glory be to God, you're marginalized because you're a royal priesthood. You're criticized because you're a royal priesthood. God is saying, you hear the word, but you don't understand my daughter. Glory be to God, you have to go through some things. People are going to talk about you. Glory be to God. You're going to be ostracized, but it's all right. You have to go through some things. If you have not gone through anything, then how are you going to rule the house of God? Huh? How are you going to lead the people of God? You have to be able to make some judgment calls. Glory be to God. You are a monarchy this afternoon. You are royalty this afternoon. So I'm saying to somebody this afternoon, 
if you're a royal priesthood, you have to go through some things. People have to talk about you. If you're chosen by God and nobody's talking about you, something is wrong. You need to check the anointing that you carry this afternoon. Glory be to God. This afternoon, we are looking at Zechariah 7. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And the topic is cultural worship or vain praise. Glory be to God. We're looking at Zechariah 7 this afternoon. And we're, the title is Cultural Worship or Vain Praise. Glory be to God. But before we start, glory be to God. Let me cover, mighty God. Let me cover this afternoon my surroundings. I cover bow shutter. shata. Glory be to God this afternoon. Glory be to God this afternoon. Jesus, glory be to God this afternoon. Glory be to God. Oh, mighty God, somebody you are perplexed this afternoon, but God is saying, joy is around the road. Huh? Some of you may be perplexed this afternoon, but God is saying, joy is around the bed. Most righteous and eternal Father, God, as I come before your presence this afternoon, giving back to you, God, those things that you gave them. Giving back to your people this afternoon, God. Lord, you know them by name and by nature this afternoon, God. You know their present and their down settings this afternoon, God. You know what is hidden in their hearts this afternoon, God. I ask that you touch your people this afternoon, God. Touch the body of Christ this afternoon, Lord Jesus. Work on you on the body of Christ this afternoon. Jesus. Oh God, lift some standards this afternoon, Lord God. Give them hands feet this afternoon for them to climb this afternoon, God. Over some things that are burdening them this afternoon, God. Remove some obstacles this afternoon, God. And let your captives free this afternoon, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Oh God, touch your daughter this morning, God. Touch your vessel this afternoon, God. Oh God, work on you upon me this afternoon, God. Speak to me, God, and speak through me this afternoon, God. Let this flesh, mighty God, be subjected to your spirit this afternoon, God. Let me decrease, God, and let your spirit increase this afternoon, God. Open the ears this afternoon, God, of my ears this morning, God. And let me listen what thus said the Lord this afternoon, God. And let me be a blessing unto others this afternoon. Give me a word, God, to give your people this afternoon, Jesus. Daddy, I ask that every burden be lifted this afternoon, God. I ask that every cloud be removed this afternoon, God. I ask that the rain be removed this afternoon, God. Send forth, God, a rainbow this afternoon, God. I command the four winds to lift, mighty God. On the behalf of your people this afternoon, Jesus. God, I call for the four winds this afternoon, God. Let life be in the vessel of your people this afternoon, God. And those who are sick and perplexed this afternoon, God. And those who are demon possessed and demon oppressed this afternoon, Jesus. Those who travel depression this afternoon, God. Lift every spirit in the realms of supernatural this afternoon, God. Let it be removed in the presence of supernatural this afternoon, God. Lord, I declare peace in the minds of your people this afternoon, God. I declare joy in the minds of your people this afternoon, Jesus. Oh, God, send surplus in the cupboards this afternoon, God. Send food in the cabinets this afternoon, God. Fill some accounts this afternoon, God. Send forth a Joshua this afternoon, God, to lead your people unto righteousness this afternoon, Jesus. As I tell you, thanks, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good afternoon, Danny. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Koroba Ushata. Thank you, God. Rondel of Ushata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Come morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come morning, Jesus. The evergreen. My cross to the midnight. I'll carry my cross to the midnight. Because come morning, 
Glory be to God. There's glory for me. Carry your crosses this afternoon through the midnight because come morning, there will be glory for you. Bring your crosses through the midnight. Sometimes we have to bear some things. We have to be planted to grow this afternoon. Come morning. Hey, Nando Shata. Glory. I'll carry my cross, Jesus. The midnight, God, I'll carry my burdens to the midnight. Come morning, Jesus. Hey, Nando Shata. There will be glory for me this afternoon. Bless you, Bishop. Come morning. Come morning, sir. There will be glory. Come morning. Jesus. We're called to obedience. We're called to stand our grounds. Glory be to God. Jesus. Hey, Kanando. Hey, Korobo Shata. Glory. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. I'll carry mighty God. I'll carry my cross, Jesus, through the midnight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Because come morning. Come morning. Oh, mighty God. Mighty God. Glory. There will be glory. There will be glory. There will be glory. There will be glory for me. Come morning. We're in a season of birth. Huh? We're in a season of pushing. Glory be to God. We're in a season of pressing. Glory be to God. The Bible says Israel travail because there was a new birth. Come morning. Glory be to God. Come morning. She corrobo shata. Rondelabo shata. Thank you, Jesus. Come morning. Come morning. There will be glory for me. Come morning. There will be glory for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Find peace and joy in knowing that God loves you this afternoon. Find peace. And joy knowing uh, ah, that God loves you this afternoon. Hey, Kurobo Shata, find peace in knowing that God, Rondolobo Shata, loves you this afternoon. Glory be to God. You know, sometimes you want to, you want to give the word of God, but God is saying, worship me. And you have to be obedient in worshiping God this afternoon. Glory be to God. You want to speak the word of God, but God is saying worship this afternoon. So I'm going to be obedient this afternoon and worship the kings of kings this afternoon. I'm going to worship the Lord of Lords this afternoon. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah this afternoon. I'm going to worship. Glory be to God. Worship, oh my soul. Run the bow shutter. Cheek under the door shutter. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Hey, hey, hey. Glory. Run the door shutter. Hey, under the door shutter. Glory. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus. Glory, God, glory, 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 Jesus, glory, ah, Jesus, oh, glory, I want to preach the word of God this afternoon, but God is saying, worship me, run the bow, shatter, glory, coral, shatter, Jesus, ah, Nando, shatter, glory, Glory, Jesus. Glory, ah, Jesus. Hey, Nando Shatter. 
Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Yeah. Yes, daddy. We have to clear the atmosphere. Oh, Corobo Shatter. We have to clear the atmosphere for worship. We have to clear some things in the realms of supernatural. I need one to be praying with me this afternoon. I need one to be worshiping with me this afternoon. Hey, Corobo Shatter. Glory be to God this afternoon. Glory be to God this afternoon, Jesus. Glory be to God when I look, oh Nando Shatter, at Mount Calvary. When I look at Mount Calvary this afternoon, when I look at Mount Calvary this afternoon, when I look at where I'm coming from this afternoon, and I look at the promises of God. This afternoon, eh, Corobo Shatter. Rumble Mo Shatter. She Corobo Shatter. She first. Hallelujah. She Corobo Shatter. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. this afternoon we move some blockages and brigades this afternoon we move some things in the atmosphere this afternoon we move some things in the atmosphere this afternoon Jesus glory be to God glory be to God Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory. We have to change some things in the realms of supernatural this afternoon. We have to shift some things. Hey, Corobo Shatter, in the realms of supernatural this afternoon, we have to move some things from the realms of supernatural this afternoon. Glory be to God. We have to move some things, oh, glory be to God, from the realms of supernatural this afternoon. Jesus. Oh, God, we have to move some things in the realms of supernatural this afternoon. I'm trying to get my sister online to pray with me. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hey, Corobo Shatter. I'm trying to get my sister 
to pray with me this afternoon. Glory be to God. God is saying I need to worship. God is saying I need to clear the atmosphere. And this afternoon, Jesus. Hey, glory be to God. God is saying move some things in the realm of the supernatural this afternoon. Glory be to God. God is saying move some things in the realm of the supernatural. This afternoon, Jesus. Glory be to God, Daddy. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Glory be to God. Oh, mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, Jesus. It's not business as usual this afternoon. Glory be to God. Come morning. God is saying you need to carry your cross. Hey, Corobo, Shata. God is saying you need to carry your cross. Glory be to God because come morning it's going to be glory. Oh, glory. Come morning. There's going to be glory. Corobo, Shata. Come morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Corobo, Shata. Rondolobo shata. She condolado shata. Glory be to God. This afternoon, Jesus. God, I thank you. I thank you, God. I'll carry my cross this afternoon, Jesus. To the midnight. Yes, God. I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Because come morning. Glory be to God. There will be glory. Jesus, 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 glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, glory. We have to clear some things in the atmosphere. Glory be to God. Oh, God is never about us. It's never about the servants of God. It's about God. Whatever we want to do is not about us. It's about God this afternoon. And God is saying, clear the atmosphere. Glory be to God. Rondo Let me tell you something, people of God. Jesus Christ, come morning. Listen, man, when the scriptures, the, the songwriter says, uh, glory be to God. We have to carry our cross. Listen, we have to bring some things on our backs. Glory be to God. We have to press. Glory be to God. We have to find a place of getting me this afternoon. We have to find a place of pressing this afternoon. Glory be to God. We have to find a place of pressing until blood comes out of our veins this afternoon. It's not business as usual this afternoon. It's not playtime. Playtime is over this afternoon. Glory be to God. Rondolobo Shata. She Korobo Shata. It's not playtime this afternoon. Glory be to God. It's not playtime this afternoon. God is saying, Glory be to God. Clear your atmosphere. If you want a miracle, change some things around you. Move some things around you, God is saying. Shift some things that are around you this afternoon. Glory be to God. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I came on here this afternoon to speak about Zechariah 7. And God is not allowing me to speak on Zechariah 7 yet. Oh, glory be to God. God needs a worshiper. Oh, God. God needs somebody to be praising. Glory be to God. God needs somebody. To be praising a Karaba Ushata this afternoon. Glory be to God. God, I thank you this afternoon, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you this afternoon, Jesus. God, I thank you. I thank you this afternoon, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. I thank you this afternoon. Glory be to God. I thank you this afternoon, Lord. I thank you. Oh, glory be to God. I thank you. This afternoon, Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you this afternoon, Jesus. Yes, Daddy, yes. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes. 
Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. I came on here. I want to talk about Zechariah 7. But the Lord is not saying Zechariah 7 yet. He's saying he's going to make a shift in your surroundings. Glory be to God. He's going to make a shift, an apostolic shift in the surroundings. He's saying, Tanili Ali, God says he's going to shift some things in the surroundings. Glory be to God. I don't know if you're still on, but God is saying, I must clear your atmosphere for our blessings this afternoon, honey. God is saying, clear your atmosphere for our blessings this afternoon. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, there's a something wonderful about the presence of God and the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. There's something wonderful about this presence of God. This afternoon, we're looking at Zechariah 1. Zechariah 7, rather, sorry. And it is talking about cultural worship and vain praise. The book of Zechariah, glory be to God, is a book that is situated in the minor prophets. Minor, not because it's a small prophet, but minor because the book is small. It is the biggest book. It's the largest book of the minor prophets, and it's one of the most hardest books to understand, the book of Zechariah. It is what we call apocalyptic literature. It is just like Jeremiah. It's like Daniel. It's like um, Revelation. Glory be to God. It's an apocalyptic literature. Glory be to God. Zechariah is a priest. Glory be to God. A priest. Glory be to God. A Levi priest. Like his father and his grandfather. Like Jeremiah Karaboshata. Zechariah is a priest. Nando Shata like Haggai. Oh, glory be to God. Now, Zachary is one of them priests who are called as a prophet. Sometimes God will move some things. Open a life so you can operate in the fivefold ministry. Sometimes God takes you to your comfort zone and bless you with something else for your higher level. So God called Zachary to be a priest and a prophet. Glory be to God. Now, the Bible is saying, glory be to God. The book of Zechariah started a month after the book of Agai. So when the book of Agai had finished, then the book of Zechariah started a month later. Glory be to God. We are now at the seventh chapter. Glory be to God. We are told, this is what history tells us. Glory be to God. If you have been to theology school, you'll know this. The book of Esther begun between the, the sixth and the seventh chapter of Zechariah. Glory be to God. Now we're looking at the seventh verse, seventh chapter of Zechariah. It says, and it came to pass in the fourth year of the king Darius, that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Chislu. Glory be to God. It says, when they had sent unto the house of God, Sherezer and Regimelech and their men, Glory be to God. Bless your sister Winnie. And there are men to pray before the Lord. Glory be to God. And to speak unto the priests which were in the house of the Lord of hosts. And to the prophets saying, Shall I weep in the fifth month, separating myself as I have done so many years? Glory be to God. What are they saying? When I look at chapter 1, it giving you a it's giving you a timeline, it's giving you a year. It is saying, it says, it came to pass in the fourth year. This was the fourth year, glory be to God, of the king's reign. Bless you, sir, Maris. This was the fourth year of the reign, glory be to God, of Darius the king. But this was the second year. This was two years after the, the, the divisions of Zechariah. Glory be to God. No, it is saying, when you think about what it is saying, it's talking about Chislu. And Chislu is the 7th of December. When you look at the Jewish calendar, Chislu is the 7th of December. 
It is saying the year is December 7th, 518 BC before Christ, the year of Chislu. So within the fourth year of the reign of the king, two years after the vision from chapter 1 to chapter 6, glory be to God, Zechariah was given a word for, from the Lord. Sometimes God will give you a time to get back your strength before he sends you on another mission. And sometimes God just send the mission and wrap it on, on top of one another. Sometimes God will say, okay, hold off a minute. Let me do some things in your life and build you for another battle. And sometimes God is saying, you're already equipped. Run the race before me. Glory be to God. So two years after Zechariah had the visions of God, glory be to God, God gave him a message. The Bible is saying in verse 2, it says, when they had sent unto the house of God, Sherezer and Re Reggie Melech, and their men to pray before the Lord. Now these men are coming, glory be to God, from Bethel. The Bible tells you that Abraham was blessed at Bethel, glory be to God. He had things done to him at Bethel. So these men are coming from Bethel and they're seeking a word. Now where else can you get a word? They're seeking the man of God, they're seeking the prophet to give me a word. I need a word this morning. I'm going to seek the minister of God. I'm going to say, Minister Keith, give me a word this morning. I need a word this morning. I need my brethren to give me a word. I need persons who are like-minded to give me a word this morning. So they, they came from Bethel because they wanted a word from the Lord. They need to know what God is saying. Glory be to God. The Bible is saying these men were Israelites. Glory be to God. Seeking a word. Coming from Bethel. Ten miles north of Jerusalem. To get a word. When I look at Ezra 2.28. Nehemiah 7.32. And Nehemiah 11.31. Ezra 2. Ezra 2.28. Nehemiah 7.32. And Nehemiah 11.31. This proves. That these men were coming. From Bethel. Glory be to God. Come in to the house of God for a word from the prophets. Let me tell us something, people of God. If we call ourselves ministers, we need to be able to stand in the gap for the people that God put us under. Glory be to God. The people that we are looking at, we have to be armored up, usable. For when somebody come and say, Pastor Keith, pray with me. You better be able to pray with the people of God. Glory be to God. So this afternoon, God is saying, arm up yourself, ministers. Arm yourself for a word. God is going to equip you with a word. Sometimes you get a word. And you get up in the morning and God give you a word. And you're wondering, what is this word about? And by the end of the day, God sends somebody for that word. You never know why God give you that word until somebody needs to hear what God is saying. And God equip you for the, with the word. And you're sitting there miserably wondering, what am I going to do with this word that God has given me? But God is sending somebody to hear what does say the lord glory be to god no they want to know this is what they want to know glory be to god they said in verse 3 and to speak unto the priest which were in the house of the battery is going to die glory be to god they wanted to hear from the lord of hosts and the prophet saying should i weep in the fifth month separating myself as i have done for many years they want to know if they were to still continue to fast. Glory be to God. Now, if I must leave my house to come to somebody else to find out from God if I must continue fasting, they wanted to know if they, were, they should continue worshiping God. No, the temple has been rebuilt. No, the temple is being built. Am I still to go in sackcloth and ashes? Am I still to come and remain the, 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 the year that we had? They were fasting a year while they were fasting. They were fasting because the temple was destroyed. And the reason why they were fasting was to remember how good the temple was. They were fasting because of grief. Glory be to God. When Moses died, God did not tell the people where Moses was buried. He says, my servant Moses has died. No, you're getting Joshua. Sometimes we want to grieve too long. And God is saying, not saying grieve. God is saying, get up out of your grieve. Get away from grieve. Walk away from grief. 
God is saying, brush off yourself and move. But we want to sit down and grieve. They have been grieving for 70 years. 70 years they are fasting. 70 years. No, they are saying, hold on. Man of God. My brother died much years now. My brother died from, from, from last year. Should I still be mourning the loss of my brother? Glory be to God. They're asking you, my grandfather died on my tears. Man of God, my father died 20 years ago. Should I still be mourning for my father? God is saying, get up and get useful this afternoon. He says, Moses died. And the angels and the devil was fighting for the, the, the burial place of Moses. Why? Because the devil delight in grief. The devil delight in stagnancy. The devil delight in grief. The things are going to make you cry. Cry, cry, baby. The Lord said to Samuel, why are you still grieving over, my, over Saul? Knowing that I have rejected him. Glory be to God. Sometimes we find ourselves grieving, 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 grieving. And not here. Miss the blessing of God. Got to get up out of your grief. They're grieving for 70 years. Grieving. Crying their eyes out. Grieving for the wrong reason. They're crying because the temple was destroyed. No, the temple is being rebuilt. They still want to grieve. Still want to grieve. Still want to grieve. Glory be to God. So they went to the man of God to find out if they should still be crying over the, the, the house of God. Glory be to God. Now that the house of God is being should I still be crying? Glory be to God. They're crying for a wrong reason. Check Malachi 1 verse 9. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. The Mosaic law, when you look at the Old, Test Old, Old Testament, I love the Old Testament. The Mosaic law in the Old Testament, it tells you in Le Leviticus 16, 29, Leviticus 23, 27 to 32. It tells you, Moses says, only on the day of atonement should you fast. Why did Moses have to tell them that? Because Moses, that's a cry, cry, baby dealing with. And because they love grief. They love to hear bad news. Sometimes God don't even want you to hear what your neighbor is saying. Because you're a cry cry baby. God cannot tell you anything bad because you're, you're not you're not anointed enough to deal with some things. Glory be to God. God knows that if you hear what if you hear what the neighbors say about you, you're going to stay home. But because God wants you to walk out in dignity today, God take away some things. God said, don't even talk to your neighbor. Don't even look at your neighbor. God has to separate some of us to get us usable. Because the devil knows we are cry, cry, baby, crying. Always, eh. Somebody said something about me. Somebody did something to me. Glory be to God. God is saying, close your ears. Lock your ears to the things. Glory be to God. And get up and get usable. Glory be to God. So this afternoon, Moses said to them, this is not a season for crying. This is, they love to fast because they get to cry. You have some people, when they go to fast in service, it's like the world let go on them. When they, they, when they, when they go to fast in service, they think they're going to a funeral. Jesus, they're in mournful. They cannot enter the church. When you see their faces, they cannot say good morning. Morning. They're coming to us, morning. Fasting is not a burden. They're fasting for the wrong things. Moses says, when you get up, we're not only allowed to fast at one season. Glory be to God. You guys are only allowed to fast at a specific season. Because I can't do the cry cry, baby. Got to Samuel. Stop the crying. I'm going to argue in somebody. Glory be to God. So God is saying, get up. Get up. Glory be to God. You know, my battery is dying. But God have the word on me. And I need to get my charger. So this afternoon, I'm saying, God is saying, get up, get up, get up from where you are. Glory be to God. Get up from where you are and go serve me. You're crying. You're, you're divorced. Your wife left you. Your husband leave and you're still crying. What are you crying for? What are you crying for? If God is replacing some things in your life, why are you crying? Glory be to God. God is taking away the one bedroom and giving you a two bedroom. The landlord give you notice and start crying. Then how is it that God is going to bless you if he doesn't shift some things out of your life? Glory be to God. You want blessing, but you don't want to shift in. Glory be to God. 
How is it that you want blessing, but you don't want God to shift some things out of your life? Huh? You want God to bless you. They want blessing this morning, Pastor. But they don't want God to make no move. Glory be to God. God is saying this afternoon, you lose your job because I have something greater for you. Glory be to God. Stop crying. Stop crying. Glory be to God. Jesus. Stop the crying this afternoon. God is moving some things. Glory be to God. You want a blessing from God. What you have is not what God is saying. You need to, you get up every day, you're praying, you're saying, God, give me this. Bless me with this, God. Give me this. Give me this, Lord. And you believe in God for a move. But when God move, you, you, you're saying, God, if this is you, do this. Lord God, the, 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 the employer says something bad about me. The supervisor doesn't like me. I am, I, I, I don't have a job, God. God, you know, and then you start to pray. This is what you start to say. God, um, you start praying like David. You don't know that God is, God is the one who is moving you. And you're praying like David. God, let some wicked things happen to them. God, move some things out of them with you. God, and you, and you start to pray the worst things them. Not knowing that God is the one who is shifting some things Glory be to God. Your car broke down this afternoon. Your car is not working this afternoon. And you're going to borrow people's car. And God is saying, I'm going to give you another one. Glory be to God. You curse all the car. The car broke down. Glory be to God. You're riding a bicycle this afternoon. Hey, Corrobo, you shot. And your bicycle broke down this afternoon. Your tire won't change. And God is saying, I'm giving you a car. Corrobo, you shot. You, you, you're crying over the bicycle. Lord, me tire punch you. And God is saying, I'm moving you. Up another level. You at the church this afternoon. They don't, they don't like you at the church. Glory be to God. The, the, the pastor don't like you at the church that you're going. Glory be to God. The missionary don't like you at the church that you're going. Glory be to God. The ushers don't like you. And God is saying make a shift in the realm of supernatural. And you're complaining. Oh God, I'm going to stay here until they let me. God is saying move and stop murmuring. Glory be to God. God is saying leave. And stop murmuring. Glory be to God. We sit down and our blessings too much. Crying over some things that don't make no sense. Crying over some things that don't make no sense. What is wrong with the house of God this morning? We praying for God to do some things for us. Glory be to God. We, we, we sons are getting married. I was saying, God, if this is the wife of my son, glory be to God, uh, show me a sign. And if this is not the wife, show me a sign. Tomorrow morning, the girl leave him. You're gone to the girl. You're gone to the girl. Um, give him a second chance. God is saying, leave. God is saying separation. Why are you praying and you're not believing? Why are you praying? You're sitting there telling him, oh, buy her some flowers. Do this for her. God is saying, you're praying for something. But you're denying the power of God. God says, somehow we have a form of godliness, but we deny the, deny the power. God is saying, some of us have a form of godliness this morning, Pastor. But we are denying the power of God this afternoon. If God is saying, get up out of your chair and walk outside, how are you going to get what the mailman have if you don't move? We want a blessing, but we want the blessing to come and find us. Faith is the substance of things over and the evidence of things not seen. When you go to God, you better go believe in Glory be to it's a call those things as though they were. Call those things as though they were. Let me tell you something. You have to be crazy for God. God said, I'm going to use the foolish things to confirm the words. I know where you think it look. I know how it look. I know where God say. It's not how it look this afternoon. It's what God is saying. So they were crying over a temple. The temple mash up long time. I know the temple. Look how them look fool fool. No, Mary and Martha are crying over Lazarus because Lazarus is dead. Now that Lazarus is resurrected, you think they should still cry about a dead man? They must be rejoicing. I'm getting so many phone calls this afternoon. They must be rejoicing, sir. If Lazarus was dead and you're crying because Lazarus is dead, how come now, glory be to God, you must still be crying? How you must still be crying? Glory be to God. You cannot still be crying and Lazarus dead. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm getting so many phone calls this afternoon. Lazarus dead and gone. If some things don't happen, you won't see the move of God. Pastor, if you don't feel pain, you don't know God is a healer. If you don't have no dead things, you don't know that him can resurrect things. 
If you're not, if you're not, if you're not hungry and naked and if you're not sick, you don't know God is a healer, sir. If you're not, if you're, if you're not, if you're, if you're not jobless, you don't know as a provider. You're, some things have to shift for you see God. Who you want? No, you want a higher level in a God, but you don't want to go through nothing. Crying over a temple where my shop. The temple my shop. No, the temple is being built. You look like idiot. I bought about the temple. You're, you're, you're crying about the temple, you know, where my shop, you know. No, the temple are built. You're gone, gone, act the pastor. Then pastor, um, my wife, dead, you know. And, and, and God give me one new. You, you think me should, me, me, me must still have what you want with it. I like, get up. What are your sorrow state? Get up. What are your darling see? And praise God. God provide for you this afternoon. God I provide. You sit on a ball about a long time, something. Sometimes we miss our blessings because we mind not right. God said, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. Change your mindset. We need to be of a renewing of the mind this afternoon, Pastor. We need to have a renewing of the mind this afternoon. We don't want to renew our mind because guess what? In order to renew your mind, you have to, you have to, you have to let go some things. Me want, me, 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 me want, want marker, but watch me. Me no want leg off a pen. So how me go get a marker? Me feel leg off for some things. Let go some things that you need a renewal of the mind. Me need bad mind one time. But me want God use me. Let go the bad mind behavior. The mouth where you use to curse me, you use it to bless them. The Bible says blessing and curse can come out of the same mouth. Use the mindset to do something positive. In the house of God, them crying. Lie the temple mash up. 70 years of my ball for sir. 70 years. 70 years. You're crying for 70 years. Come on, man. What, what have you been doing for 70 years? Crying. The devil win. The devil has been winning for 70 years. You lose a life for 70 years. The anointing of God left you a long time. Glory be to God. The anointing of God look life place of substance. You don't get to put no substance in your body because your ball ball too much. They tell me if you praise God, your ball. The anointing gone. The anointing left Saul. Why? The time when Saul was supposed to be praising God, they might look for go kill David. So the anointing left Saul. Akaraba who shot her. The anointing left him. Why? The time when he's supposed to praise God, he might look for go kill David. The anointing, he find a witchcraft worker. The witch woman said, Oh, land. Sometimes we find some, we sell for some place, Pastor. And the people they know, so you know, one time, one time she did all, you know. Find himself a witchcraft work. And the witchcraft work said, Oh, Landy, I never did a kill witchcraft work. I never did a kill way. So, oh, you find yourself here, so no. The devil reminds you when you're deep in a sin, you know, sir. Whenever you find yourself deep in a sin, the devil reminds you where you come from. Nasty and dirty. Nasty and dirty. The devil reminds you who you was. Corrobo who shot her. Them a ball, both temple. Temple are built up now. Temple, temple, they up a belt in. And them a ball, say, temple, mash up. Which temple they a ball for? You want to build? A temple they are built in, sir, and them are ball. A window they are put in. What you crying for? The temple. Which temple? He wanted to fix your temple. Your backslide, so what? Tell your enemy this afternoon. Me backslide, so what? It's not where you are, it's where you are. I was a prostitute, so what? I'm a missionary now. We are ball about some things in the past for. Walk in a faith and walk in a glory. Lego some things. Corrobo shut her. This afternoon, so them did your ball, ball about foolishness. Cry, cry, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. And God is saying, shut up and dry your tears and move on. Glory be to God. That's why the devil used so much, so much in the past. We ball too much. Glory be to God. No, the temple don't build. The temple I build, you know. Never can as much of the temple. Seventy years ago, I never ball for the temple. Glory be to God. You see, sometimes we find ourselves in a past. Looking back at the past and, and stagnant in the past that we can't move on. We're just stagnant. We're lacking at the past that we can't move on. Glory be to God. So verse, verse, verse 5 says, Zechariah, verse 4 says, Then came the word of the Lord unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priest, saying, When he fasted and mourned, <laughs> this fifth this fifth and seventy month, glory be to God, even those seventy years, did ye at all fast unto me? Da da dee, pastor, you are going now. 
The pastor said, we're going to have all night prayer meeting. Watch me. Put on my clothes and me going to have all night prayer meeting. God has said, when you come to prayer meeting, you come for worship me and you come because you're obedient to pastor. Pastor, know why him call all night prayer meeting? You come at all night prayer meeting every night, but have you ever given your life to me? Every night within a church, 70 years. 70 years of customly coming to church. And we not give giving life to God. We know every song in the book. We know everybody's tongues. And we have never been baptized. God is saying, every Wednesday you're going to fast. Why are you fasting? We take things like that and make it come like a Christmas. We, we take Christmas and we don't understand that Jesus gave his life for us. We use Christmas to go put up tree and light and, and yam people food. Glory be to God. And we miss the meaning of Christmas. God is saying this afternoon. All of those 70 years that you were fasting. Who did you fast to? Your ball ball building. Your 19 has left you. Were you at all fasting for me? God is saying. Tell the people. Say, when you were fasting and mourning. The 5th and the 7th month. When you are fast and you are mourning. Me are mourn, The 5th month of Ag. The fifth month of, of the Jewish month of Ab. That is the between July and August. July and August when you are mourn 70 years. You ever think about me one time? You run come at your skirt long. Clothes long. Your head wrap up like a nanny. And your you, you face stiff. And you come into church. You come into fasting. You're you at church before even church open. And you come into fasting. You get, you get a position because you're always on time. You're appointed because of your presence. Glory be to God. No anointing. God is saying this afternoon. Were you ever fasting for me? Some of we in our church are in competition. We're really justly worshiping God. We're culturally worshiping God, sir. Some of us is in church. We're culturally worshiping God. We're not worshiping the Father. When we look at a recommendation from pastor, the pastor said, okay, I'm going to appoint Sister, Sister Key this afternoon. Why? Why pastor go appoint me? Because she comes to church every Sunday. She at every fasting service. Somebody asked her, when, what year you're baptized? You start scratch your head. You have never been baptized. Glory be to God. You have never had fellowship with God, but you're at church every, every morning. You lead fasting service. You lead prayer service. You're obedient to your pastor, but God don't know you this afternoon. We need to be careful, house of God. We need to be careful, house of God. We need to start call the people when they come to church, sir. Line them up out the door when they call prayer meeting. And ask them, why have you come to prayer meeting? Because they come to come here where you say. When they done, they know what color shoes you have on. They know what color shoes you wear last week. They know what color shoes you wear this week. They know how many suits you have. And their houses are stagnant because the reason for coming to fellowship is wrong. The Lord is saying you have been to worship for 70 years. Where is your anointing? Why are you not gifted? What is your ministry? Where is your calling? Glory be to God. You are religiously serving. You are culturally serving God. God is saying this afternoon, mash up that. Mash up that. And come again. Start from scratch. Get up every, every Friday, you get up. You're going, to, you're going to youth conference. You're going to youth meeting. The, the, the church trusts you so much. The church gives you a key. Because why? You're always available to be used by a man. You're obedient to the pastors. And when them having prayer meet, when, when them having warfare in the church now, somebody come in the church that is demon possessed, you, you can't even step in because what? You know that your life is not right. God is saying, I've, since you've been fasting for 70 years, who are you fasting to? We need to think this afternoon, sir. We need to examine our thoughts this afternoon. We've been fasting for 70 years of Koroba Ushata. And God is saying, you never been, you, you weren't fasting to me. I don't know you. Who are you? I can't recommend you. God cannot recommend us today. After 70 years, sir, God cannot recommend us something wrong. God is saying this afternoon, when you are fasted and mourned, and not even, the funny thing about it, it is not even that they were fasting. They were, they were not eating any food. And them are ball. 
They're fasting and they're crying. Them stress out. Why? Because Pastor call and say, we're having an online prayer meeting from 10 o'clock to 6 the next morning. And they're they, they, they are prayer meeting every day. Pastor, Pastor call and says, we're having all night services. And you're present. Them say, give Sister Key the, the, the broom that she sweep the place. And I am present. They say, give Sister Key um, the food that she cook it. And I am present. But God is saying this afternoon, you have always been present at church. Who were you fasting to? There's no miracles happening around you. Nothing is changing in your life. We start the people up here we. We up here we self. We start the people working witchcraft on us, sir. We witchcraft in ourselves because we take God for idiot. Glory be to God. We take God for idiot this afternoon. We take God for idiot this afternoon. Corrobo shatter. Sit up at church every Sunday. You, you become, you, you, you're leading the choir team. You are so faithful that you're head of the choir department this afternoon. And God has not ever heard you said, Abba Father, one time. Bless my pastor. Bless the member of the church. Bless the sanctuary. Bless this, bless that, bless that. Really justly worshiping Bless the community, bless the man outside, bless the cooks in the kitchen, bless my husband, bless my children, mouth, mouth talk, vain glory this afternoon. God is saying your, your, your worship is in vain this afternoon. We get up already a vain glory. God is saying you have been fasting. Everybody know you're a Christian. But God... Watch we natural ear, no makeup, no makeup, sir. Natural ear, long skirt. And God is saying, oh, 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 Hold on, there, hold on, there. No, who you worshiping again? We need to stop it in the house of God. We need to stop it in the house of God this afternoon. God is saying, 70 years I've been worshiping, 70 years. And I don't know you. Yet you're at church. You're at, you preach more than Paul. Them give you a junior minister position. You're a junior pastor. You're head of the evangelism team. Glory be to God. Because man know that you're responsible. Man know your self-worth. And God is saying, um, I wish I, 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 I again, I wish I picked that. When they grow up, they say, how far finish that? And every day they are church. Who can pray like you? Oh, most righteous and eternal Father God, do this, do that, do that, do that. And you speak up the tongues because you know everybody in the church tongues. You know everybody's tongues by heart. You've never been baptized. And if you're baptized, you never live a life for God one day. Glory be to God. God is saying all these 70 years, when you have mourned and fast for, for your, every year, the fifth, the fifth month, July to August, in a convention. A convention. We are talking about, no, no. In a convention. You do a con every convention. You never miss a convention. July to August. Every year, pan rapid. Morning and fasting and this and that and consecration and got a whole and the um are we, are we again you're coming come ask why your, your, your house is not being turned around you're coming and you're asking where are my children not 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 on the right part you're coming and asking why am i not being blessed good afternoon brother Wayne. why am i not being blessed this afternoon and god is saying because i don't know you you're coming to the man of God. And you say, Minister, why is it that I'm not being blessed? Minister said, Well, I'm going to pray. Look here. I know everybody needs to go pray for you. Sometimes you got to go give a word where you don't like. We love the word of God. But we don't know so the word of God is sharper than a two edged sword. We love to hear what God is saying. And we don't understand that the word of God is going to cut bone and marrow. God said, I'm not come. I'm not come for love, love with you. Me come. We make 
you trust, you walk right, you live clean and you live holy. He says, I'm come to separate mother and mother and daughter, father and son. Glory be to God. Jesus says, who are my family? Those that are in the faith. You want a word. Not the word that God is saying. You've been in church. You keep every law. You know the Bible back and front. But who were you fasting to? You, you need to make it sit for a minute. Make it sit for a minute. You are then as a youth pastor. You know everybody's tongues. You're speaking at everybody's tongues. Who were you worshipping? You see, people don't understand, you know, the things that come out of your mouth becomes witchcraft, you know, sir. They don't understand. The things that come out of your mouth becomes witchcraft. And you're seeing your own self. The Bible tells you in Ecclesiastes 5, 6, do not allow your tongue to cause your body to sin. Do not allow this to cause the whole of this to sin. We sit down in a church and ramp with God. And I wonder why, what, what make problem I take where we are. What make people, what make a be a problem I take where we are. God has said, after me, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. And because the pastors, the pastors are blind these days. The pastors, they nah see. They discern in a spirit, no, they're not in a church no more. Everybody that lives any, any case, kill his life. So the pastor, they nah say something is wrong with you. Glory be to God. And sometimes when the pastor, they see say your condition are right. They can't tell you what is wrong with you because what? If them tell you. That you, you are 19 feet. You're not going to do that again if you come open the church door. And him now, and the pastor now get up out of time if you come open your own church. So him now tell you what God has said. Him going to say, boy, sis, you need to read more. You need to pray more. And God is saying, remove her. God said, let her go. But you cannot tell them that. You have to tell them, say, oh, sis, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the team, the prayer team to pray with you. You cannot tell them, you what? Get some olive oil and wet up your place and pray, cover your place. Because what? God is saying something wrong with her 19. But because we, because we know she usable, we can't afford to lose her. Glory be to God. So God has said to them, say, all right. When you fasted and you mourn the fifth, more, the fifth day between July and August. Glory be to God. You never eat anything. But how we the fast and to? Verse 6, and when you did eat, and when you did drink, did you not, did not ye eat for yourself, and drink for yourself? When I start of celebration now, hey, convention, when convention I keep at church, and you do a convention every night, and you me people in food, it's supposed to be fellowship, when I do a Sabbath, and you me lunch, 12 o'clock lunch, it's supposed to be fellowship, Jesus said, he get the five loaf, and he spread it, a fellowship, that's when you yeah, take communion. When you're taking large supper, when you're eating and when you're drinking, you know. when you're eating, God is saying, some of we are take communion. And we know we life, chaka chaka. Me sleep with my husband and him brother and him two other cousins. Them. Me life nasty. And me are take communion. I'm taking the communion of the Lord. I mean, no seminar right. Glory be to God. We don't know how to refuse the communion because what? People are going to know that our lives is not right. We don't know if we validate ourselves. Pastor, we don't need anybody to validate us this afternoon. Look in at your life, man. You know you come to church on a communion day. Watch me. Lord, help me. God, forgive me for all of what I do. Lord, cover me. Forgive me, God, forgive me. I mean, make it right. While church is going on, you make it right in your heart. Pray and say, God, forgive me. Me dirty. Clean me, Jesus. You sit down there and you laugh with everybody. You sit there and you smile. And you laugh with everybody. And at the end of the service, you get so many time to cover yourself. You get so many time to ask for forgiveness. At the end of the service, you still take the Lord's Supper. God is saying this afternoon, when you eat now and you're drinking, you know, you're eating for yourself. You're drunk and getting belly full, like the church of Corinth. You're drunk and I get belly full of a communion. And nothing is going on in your life. Your life is stagnant. Glory be to God this afternoon. Vain prayers and vain worship. Culturally worshiping God. You find yourself at church full in all white. Step out your clothes clean and feet past the water. You start your white. You start your white and you get black belt. You clean your shoes. 
Glory be to God. And you step out nice. And you, and you nasty. Inside of you dirty. Inside of you chaka chaka. Nasty. But you're there at church every, every last month and first month. First Sunday you, 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 present, you present at church. I'm at a, I, I would all you I carry the communion plate. When they say go for the communion plate, you run go feed. See ya? With the communion plate. Some of we are going dead in a God house. God are going to lick down some of we like Ananias and Sapphira. God is going to turn over some of us in the house of God. God is not mocked. We don't understand. God is a jealous God. Remember me tell you. God is a jealous. You ever get some bad man neighbor when God is ready for you? We hear you Moses talk about the wrath of God. The wrath of God against the children of disobedience. When God get mad upon you. You think you're some bad man neighbor do you something when God, when God started work upon you? You're eating communion. You're eating the bread. When pastor say take the bread, you eat the bread. I eat for your mouth for you now. Acting like you're clean. You're one pull first. Before pastor say pull, you pull you already. And I eat your condemnation. And drink your condemnation. You know that you praise God. Nasty and chaka chaka. Then you wonder why, why, why problem I take you. You're wondering why problem taking you. God is saying in Zechariah 7, glory be to God, verse 6, it says, And when you eat, and when you drink, and never yourself, you eat and a drink for. <laughs> God is saying, hold on a little bit. And never yourself, what, what, what was the reason for you to take communion this afternoon? Why you not take it? I mean, I know all. The Bible says God is omnipotent, and God is omnipresent, and God is omniscient. The Bible says I am Alpha and the Omega. Me know all. Me start to me end it. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was made which and walk among man. The Bible says God said let us make man our own image and our lens. So God knows everything we are doing. And watch you now like hypocrite. I take communion. You know? You're eating and you're drinking and you're fellowship, you know. And you're loud. You're loud at that church. You're loud. Loud. That everybody else in that church. God is saying this afternoon, weren't you eating and drinking to yourself this afternoon? Akarabo shata. Randalabo shata. Hallelujah. She karabo shata. Weren't you eating the flesh of God? You're coming like a Judas. Glory be to God. The only thing Judas did was sell Jesus to church to be silver. You're near my off, you're, you're 19. You sell out, you're 19 this afternoon. And sit down up and preach to people. I know everybody me listen to. Glory be to God. Some people invite me to come look on it. I know everybody me listen to. I know everybody me listen to. Search the spirit and see if they are of God. Try the spirit. Try the spirit. Glory be to God. Try the spirit. And see if they are of God. I don't love people telling no no good care and house and money and The other day, one prophet, one, one of them say my prophet. Tell me, say, God, God bless me with this and God, God bless me with that. I may listen to him. I say, Father God, help him. Help him. We need to try, get to a place where we are going to try the spirit of God. Try it. Pastor, if me call you, I make it up and I say, praise God, sir. The fact that I say hello, you must feel the anointing of God in the phone. Me and you are talking at tongues, so you feel the presence of God. The moment the Bible says, I yearn, sharpen it, I yearn. Me no need for your prayer for you, for you feel the presence of God, sir. The moment your, your spirit must link with for me. But what? Uh, God has shown us that they're not right, and we are saying, Lord, maybe, Lord, maybe I'm here think bad. Hey, hey. That's how we get in trouble. When God is showing us something, we are denying. The spirit of God. We're telling God, to, um, maybe this is me thinking something wrong. Maybe I have a negative approach. Negative approach, what God is saying, something wrong, no go over there, leave them alone. But what? We're looking at accolades and titles. And we say, okay, in name, Bishop, so as I say, my live right. The devil is a liar. When God called him, 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 him children, the devil was right there. So when we can feel like they're not going to deny us, God. I 
know everybody must pray for Uno. I know everybody. I don't know everybody me pray for Nida. And if someone tell me to pray for some people, me they far. Me and up so me not nah, touch you. Because me deserve it right. I mean not nah, check a check out me yard. Glory be to God. I wanna feel like everybody calling to pray for me. The devil is a liar. I know everybody if you pray for sir. Corrobo shata. I know everybody if you pray for teach them how to go pray. Some things that they yard want change. Glory be to God. Pray for my husband, sir. You don't know them from now. You, you have never seen them before. But they're saying, pray for my husband. Yes, you know, they're married. Maybe you are the one who married them. But where she get her husband from? People, husband, she got take. Mash up people marriage. Children crying for their daddy. Wives crying for their husband. Jezebel gone to demand them, sir. Jezebel. And then when time they go in a church, now then life goes to come so. Life gone. And we're wondering. So what from 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 sister from Staki married? Um our our one fear. From she married to Arthur, our life just bad. Awa awa. I take me, take me Saki from his wife. So from God step in at the vest lap. God if you mash up that. Send back him man in yard. Send him home. Glory be to God. Send back him woman our yard. Send her home. So we nasty. And I wonder what is going on in our life. We near come you on yan. And laugh in our God's face. And God is in me. Or mash up your yard. Every day let us mash up around here. Glory be to God. God is saying, look here, man. You're near me, near me, and licky licky and crave. You're taking communion. You're eating your belly full. You come a convention to the front bench. You're sitting in the fellowship like Judas. But because the congregation blind when Jesus said to them, one of who sit with me go betray me. I who are do it? Will, because we're blind, we can't discern. Yeah, lack. Lord Jesus, when the body of Christ, my eyes are closed. Jesus is saying, when are you going to betray me? But nobody knows who's going to betray Jesus. Why? Because the whole are we blind. We are look favoritism in the body of Christ. Favoritism in the body of Christ. We are look. Glory be to God. So we cannot see what God is saying this afternoon. Because we can't tell the choir director saying wrong. Because she, she, she got a Yui. And she got, and she got, and, and she got a Mona. She got a big college. Big college she got sir. And we feel good if we say, um, this person goes to that college. We feel good, sir. We look a feel good moment. We feel good if we say, um, um, me, me, me minister, um, graduated from UA and is a doctor at law and doctor this and doctor that. I've titled by a man, no anointing. Some are called. Some were sent and some went. Some are called and some are taught. Some are called, sir, and some are taught. That's why body of Christ nasty and chaka chaka. Jesus said, one of you who are eating the communion with me, drinking my body and, 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 and eating my flesh, I go betray me. And watch me. I and God said, I'm going to sip with him. And you're looking at it, you're looking at it in front of you, and you can't validate yourself. You know, sister, the bread and the right. It takes another pastor from another church to go and tell us, you know, sister, the bread and the right. And then watch your light, you broke it. You know, sister, me did no lie. We're blind. Blind, we're blind, sir. Blind. Blind. Not the body of Christ, we're not seeing the things of God. Corrobo shut up. We're not seeing the things of God because we're blind. Me, 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 have, me, me have evangelists in our church. I evangelists in bad men, in bad men, in bad men. Who is it that you're going to bring the word of God and you eat people so? Eh? Every time you say me go bless that sister there. Lord, nobody give with Judas. We are long. We cannot, we cannot afford to feed the body of Christ because we want it for ourselves and our family. Every time somebody come close to the, every time somebody come close to the pastor, here we, why sir, our own Arima should come from me, not just sir. Our uncle, our teeth, not just sir. God says I come for the last. 
God says, if you're not sick, then I'm not going to, I'm not here for you. God says, I'm coming for the sinners to repentance. You're not church of black people from God. And the church blind because when you have accolade, you're full of accolade. Full of accolade, brother Wien. Full of accolade. Then full of accolade, then can't sing like a bird. Sing, then can't sing like a bird. Glory. Sing like a bird, Psalm Tress. And watch her when night come. Every man know her name. Glory be to God. Sell out her night in long time. And when somebody come to church now, and they see, and they some people know them. Sir, you won't come to the pastor. Don't make sure come to the church because her spirit not right. But cause pastor blind. We must discern everybody in our circle, sir. You must look on your people when they come in the evening time. Look at your children when they come in at the house in the evening. Discern all your husband. Glory be to God. He was right there when the devil used her. But because Adam was not discerning, he get caught. Glory be to God. We need to discern them to we own picnic them. Glory be to God. You are asleep and picnic upstairs with man. The devil is a liar. We need to discern everything we come in our house. Everything we move. Help or help or not. Down to deliver a plumber. We must discern. We open our house to all type of spirits too much. So we blind. We blind. Arm up yourself. God says, arm up yourself. Put on the blessed face of righteousness. Armor. Put on your armor. And we have to get some time. We have to get some time and cool off. Cool off a period. And re armor. Wash off your armor. Shine off your armor. Consecration me I talk about. Remove some ink and some kink out of your armor. Battlefield you go. Fix up back your armor and come. Fasting and consecration. All night prayer meeting. Bible studies. Glory be to God. And come. You want to go to party Saturday night and come back Sunday. You come, come, come preach your word of God. It devil is a liar. Saturday night when you have your word of God. Preach Sunday morning. You better make sure so you're consecrated. A battlefield you go pan. They're the church and the demon in the church with you look upon you. I follow you your yard because you're drunk in a pulpit. Drunk in a pulpit. Glory be to God. Last, you drink six beer last night. And what you know? Junk can't even see. They see a rock so. And then we watch you the man. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Pastor anointed. Pastor drunk. We're playing with the things of God. And God is saying we are worshiping vain this morning. God is saying this afternoon, we are doing too much cultural worship. Vian prayers sir. Vian prayers. Vian. We are worshiping a vian. Junk. Glory be to God. God is saying, and when you eat and when you drink, how will you eat and drink to yourself? Look here, man. When God has asked us some question, eh? So, so we there. So when did I eat last night and I drink last night? We did I eat what? Me are you? Eh? Me not get no praise from you all now. All know me not get no worship from you. But when I'm coming on you, you're there convention. You clean the church too. And when the feeding program are going, are you, are you, are, are you a kaliki food? Are you a sherry food for the feeding program? Because you're licky licking and yummy yummy. You have a demon on you, a greedy demon. You see the thing, you know, sometimes we think you have a sex demon alone in the boat, you know. So demon, let go out pan we. We have, we have some, some octopus that deal with the body of Christ. We have some masters of disguise that deal with the body of Christ. We feel like a crocodile alone a demon. We have some masters of disguise. We need to open our spiritual eyes. Open our eyes. We have some octopus in the body of Christ, a master of disguise. I will not see them. You don't hear that about marine spirit. We think the matter, but are the old sea. I will have them. We have some octopus spirit, sir. Anything you put them in a them blend. Any um, octopus you go to as small as the old being increased to you. Anything that you put them in a them blend. You make them, you put them on the prayer team, they they all thing everybody. You put them as usher. Are the best looking usher you have in a church. You give them position to go preach. Are the best speaker because they're a master of this guys. No anointing. Octopus spirit, sir. We need to have some one on one fast on the body of Christ. Sing them out and make them fast. Sometimes we need to go punch church and say, hey, well, you go over this, you go over this. When you have your ministerial team, 
When they come together and show, you don't even hear. We have to separate them. Tell them, say, one got up, one got bottom. And separate them in the church and worship. And watch them. Watch them. Glory be to God. When you have a choir, you can't know who can sing. When you have a choir, sir, you never know which one of them can sing. Everybody are singing together. Separate them. No, a 19. No, a 19, sir. No, a 19. Glory be to God. God is saying you're eating and you're drinking for yourself. You're sitting in the body of Christ and you're not, you're not a 19. God don't know you this afternoon. Verse 7 is saying... Should he, verse 7 saying, should he not hear which the Lord had cried by the former prophets when Jerusalem was inhabited and in the prosperity and the cities thereof round about her, when men inhabit the south and the plain. God is saying, you're near me, near me, you're licky, licky, and you feel like, say, me an idiot. But let me tell you this, you were crying because the temple was destroyed. And you don't remember that because of the lifestyle that your, your, your forefathers were living. is why the temple got destroyed. It's the lifestyle that your, 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 your church brother and your church sister was living and the pastor was doing. Why the church mash up. And the lifestyle and the people and the body of Christ. Why the church mash up. Glory be to God. And the lifestyle. Why club buy out the church property. And the lifestyle where Nebuchadnezzar could have mashed up the body of Christ. is a lifestyle where you lose a church to a club. Sometimes you think about England. There are some churches who, some churches got bought out by clubs. In the COVID time. Enough church you have to lock down. We don't go to go visit our clubs are right there now. It's a lifestyle that you were living where you lost your church. That is what God is saying. No, that you're not a ball ball, but it, you, you were crying because the church was destroyed. And you're still carrying on the same lifestyle. But let me tell you this. Let me tell this people of God. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that we're living right now. Why the temple was destroyed. Why are you backslide? Because of the lifestyle that you used to live. Why you backslide? No, you're living for God. And you still want to keep the same friends. God is saying. Because of what you used to do one time. That is why you're going to lose a 19 again. You have to get up, get rid of some things. Change some things. You have been backslidden. You have found yourself in a backsliding position. No, you have come to the forefront. Lose some things. You cannot have the same friends. God is reminding us this morning. It's a lifestyle that we lived before while we lost our anointing. It's a lifestyle that we lived before while the devil was able to use us. Glory be to God. God is saying in verse 7, it is the lifestyle of the farmer, your farmer, church brothers and sisters. The lifestyle of the farmer church, why you lose a church. The lifestyle. Now change up the thing this afternoon. Change up the things. Pull up the follow grounds. Change up the things this afternoon. Change it up, sir. This afternoon. Change it. Mash it up. This afternoon. You come a ball. You come crying. You want to know if you must still be crying. You're not, you're not, you're not thinking, why was I? Why, why did I get caught up in sin? Because it was something that, you were, that enticed you. It was something that enticed you. Sometimes we find ourselves at the wrong place. There are lots of persons who got killed. Because they were, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time, Levisha. They found themselves at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's not, it's not that they were murderers. It's not that they did something wrong. They were just at the wrong place at the wrong time lifestyle god is saying if you say you're a christian you see that boyfriend that we have let him go god is saying if you call yourself a child of god that place that you used to go remove yourself from it sometimes we're working at a bar i'm not talking about good decent but i'm talking about bars in jamaica we have to dress a certain way and God is saying, if you are a child of God this afternoon, step away from that bar. Let me bless you. But we don't want to sacrifice anything for God. Our lifestyle must still be the same. How are you going to serve God and serve the devil at the same time? Anything the devil gives you, God don't want it. 
Anything the devil gives to you this afternoon, God don't want to have nothing to do with it. God is calling a, a, a people to walk orderly. When God said to Samuel, walk before me, it's because he was clean. God is not going to tell you to walk before me for dirty. It's a privilege when God says, walk before me. God is not going to send you out if you're not clean. It's not every prophet can talk to me. Not all of them. I listen to them and I smile. It's not everybody can pray for me, sir. Don't put your hand on me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm discerning your spirit. Because you're not going to put anything into my spirit to take home to my children. I have to cover my house that I live in. I have to guard my household that I live in. Glory be to God this afternoon. Lifestyle. We too licky licky and drinky drinky. We eat too much, sir. Glory be to God. We eat too much. Thank you, Jesus. We need to sit and think about it. Go back and look at Zechariah 7, verses 1 to verses 7. And examine yourself this afternoon. Look at Zechariah 7, verses 1 to verses 7. And, and if that alone, if that cannot convict you, something is wrong with you. You cannot be convicted. It's a self-validation. We need to validate ourselves. We don't need nobody to validate we. If you take a shower this afternoon, you have a smell. You have a wonder if you smell nice. You smell pretty. You, you smell good if you go under it. You're not going to go out there knowing you don't smell good. Expecting somebody to tell you, oh, you don't smell good. You're looking at you. You're looking. Yes, and you're fixing your ear. You're not waiting on somebody to validate you. What about your Christian life? Validate your anointing. Am I worthy to be used by God? Am I clean to be used by God? What is my anointing this afternoon? Validate this afternoon, sir. We need to validate ourselves. We are called to order. That is not the order of confusion. We are called to order. Obedience, God say. I'm not going to leave my house knowing that, I, knowing that I don't smell nice. But I'm not going to walk out the people be wanting. Um, are you a Christian? Listen, persons must know that you're serving God. Whenever you leave your house, persons must know that you're serving the living and true God. Validate yourself. Make sure your life is in par with the word of God this afternoon. I'm closing. Make sure this afternoon your lifestyle is lined up with what the book of life is saying this afternoon. I thank you all for joining me this afternoon. Glory be to God. I thank you all for joining me. I'll be praying with you, in, um, brother, brother Wayne. I'll be praying with you. Thank you for praying with me. Thank you for praying with me, Minister Morris. Thank you, sir, for praying with me. I bless you. May the Lord continue to bless and to keep you. May the Lord continue to make his face shine upon you and keep you in good strength. May the grace of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you now and forever. And the church says, Shalom. Bless you.